Welcome back to Johnny Builds, where this week I built this kitchen island with a shoishugi bond stained top and storage for mason jars. Let's see how I did it.
Hey everybody, thanks for checking this project out. Now, as you can see, I kind of have a small kitchen, so I needed a smaller kitchen island that would fit in my small kitchen. And I designed it on four locking casters, so when I need the extra space, I can just roll it right out of the way. Also, we store all of our dry goods in mason jars, all of our nuts, our seeds, our beans, things like that. So I designed three shelves on either side each shelf can hold four mason jars for a grand total of 24 mason jars of all the things that we need and use when we're here in the kitchen. So it makes it super convenient. Now, if you don't use mason jars, that's fine. You can design these shelves however you like. It could be a spice rack, it could hold cookbooks, or you could make it to where there's no shelves at all. It would still look good, it would still work great. Also, there's a shelf on the bottom for large pots and pans. Now, as far as this tabletop, when I first saw the Shoi Shugiban technique, I knew I had to do it. And when I started Googling it, I saw Stain Shoi Shugiban, but I realized quickly that there wasn't a lot of information out there on how to achieve this particular style of Shoi Shugiban. So I had to make up my own method. And I did a tutorial video. When that's ready to go, there'll be a link to it right there. Go check that out. I go way more in depth as what you saw in this video on how I did this and how to achieve some other Shoishugiban finishes. So go check that out. It's a good one. Anyways, I hope you guys like this project. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know down in the comments below what you think, what you liked, what you didn't, what you would do different. And if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and do that and hit that notification bell. And I just wanna thank everyone for all the support. I recently passed 2,000 subscribers. While I still want my channel to grow, that's a pretty cool milestone to have hit. So thank you very much. I appreciate all the support and I'm just gonna keep making awesome stuff. So thanks for checking this one out and we'll see you back here next time.